Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can improve your UI UX design skills in 2019 and moving onwards. Now, a lot of things have changed in this industry in these past years, however the basics are always the same because at the end of the day UX is all about solving problems and some core basic areas are not going to change that rapidly. Now, regarding how to improve your UI UX design skills, one of my biggest suggestion and tip is to read as much as you can, especially if you're first starting out. Uh, you need to get out there and read other blog posts or books. There's tons of amazing resources, both online and offline. And uh, even before you jump on your first project, you must understand the mindset and uh, some of the basics. So reading is definitely going to be something which uh, is going to be core for your education. And uh, even moving forward, I, I myself, I still read about UX design. I still revisit uh, some of the books uh, which uh, uh, I maybe read or heard in an audiobook uh, many years ago and uh, it's always good to get back to the basics. So one of my first uh, recommendations is to check out Hooked, which is uh, a book uh, which uh, teaches you how you can uh, uh, create uh, designs uh, and uh, experiences which uh, literally hook users to that specific experience. And uh, this has been a book which uh, has been recommended by the CEO of uh, one of the companies where, in which I interned when I was in London. And uh, it's been a really, um, I, I wouldn't say a game changer to my UI, UI UX design career, but it's been a game changer uh, when it comes to the mindset and uh, especially regarding some of the areas. So uh, this is definitely a book which uh, I recommend. Uh, another great book uh, in order to learn UX and UI design is Don't Make Me Think. And uh, basically this book uh, is all about the concept of uh, you have to create experiences which are so easy to use uh, for the users that uh, they don't even think about it. So this is really a core principle and in the book uh, they go really in depth uh, and uh, explain it with uh, different case studies and different viewpoints. So definitely is a great book to check out. Another great book, especially if you're first starting out, is a project guide to UX design. And this is a great guide that uh, covers uh, all of the basics but also advanced uh, concepts in UX and it's a great foundation book that I think every UX designer has to read. Another great one is Hacking Growth and although this is not so much into the technicalities of UX designs, it really helps you out when it comes to mindset and about growth, which is an area which is very important for both product designers and UI UX designers to masters because nowadays companies are not only expecting you to create um, basic uh, visual designs and uh, understand the user but uh, they want you to get more involved into things like uh, strategy, growth uh, and also marketing so you want to understand these topics and although you not, don't need to be uh, an expert in any one of these uh, you want to understand the um, the overall picture and uh, really understand uh, uh, the, the overview in general. So this is definitely a book which I recommend uh, anyone um, in this field. Being a junior designer or a senior designer, it's a great book and you're going to learn tons. Another great book is Made to Stick and basically in this book they, uh, the author talks about why some ideas stick why, uh, while others die. And uh, it's a very fascinating book. The concepts explained are uh, really interesting and uh, it's definitely a book which uh, I highly recommend. Um, another book, uh, or actually a series of books, uh, which uh, um, are really, really useful when you're first starting out and even when you're more in an advanced stage, uh, is uh, the series of A Book Apart. If you Google A Book Apart, you're going to uh, find it right away. It's basically a series of uh, books uh, which are really, uh, some of them go into the very technicalities of things also like uh, UI design, color theory, and things of that nature and the other ones are more general and um, literally just focus on uh, user experience design and uh, 
uh, topics which are a little bit uh, more broad. So definitely this is, this is a series which uh, I really enjoyed. I, I personally read many of those books uh, and um, yeah, they're, they're really cool. Now, apart from books, uh, which uh, are a great uh, base to start your education and uh, really consolidate uh, any previous uh, uh, learnings which, uh, which you had, um, another great uh, thing uh, which uh, it's, it, I wouldn't say it's more important, but it's definitely the main, uh, it's something, something which is very, very important, is the fact that um, you have to do uh, projects. So you have to build either side projects uh, if you're first starting out and you don't have clients, or um, just tackle actual live client projects. And uh, you're going to learn so much uh, and um, because it's just uh, um, putting everything that you learned uh, into practice and practice uh, it's uh, what's going to get to really consolidate and bring the, the learning experience to the next level so again guys if you're just starting out uh, if you're still in design school or even you, or you just started about learning uh, ui ux design uh, this week uh, starting to build the side projects uh, or even taking uh, um, projects which are already live and trying to bring them to the next level. This is something which is really, really important and uh, you can learn so much uh, that um, it's, it really is amazing. So one of the things that you could do is, for example, go on a website which you like uh, and uh, try to evaluate uh, if there are some uh, problems with UX. So you can do some uh, user testing, you can do some uh, user research and um, you, can, you can try and figure out uh, ways uh, to make the user experience easier and uh, more intuitive and um, this can be an exercise which is uh, uh, quite, quite good um, as well as uh, creating side projects from scratch. So you can either write a brief uh, for yourself uh, or uh, take one of the free briefs uh, which you can find online. There's a lot of, of, of these. Uh, um, you can even go on a contest website and then just look for a contest uh, and you're just going to do that brief. Uh, and even if you don't enter the contest, which is something which you, you can definitely do, um, even if you don't do that, you can still have that brief uh, and uh, elaborate a side project uh, based uh, on uh, that specific brief. So there's a lot of ways you can you can go after it. And um, again, if you're first starting out, also finding a client, even if you do like a free project uh, at the start, like it's not a big deal. You're going to learn so much. Uh, that uh, um, it's totally going to be justified and um, hey if you can find uh, uh, one for for a small pay that, that that's even better um, the focus at the start it's all about learning it's all about getting that education so i wouldn't worry too much the, about the money at first because once you get the education once you get the skill set uh, money will come and that's uh, a guaranteed formula so yeah, that's uh, basically it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, also leave a comment. I'm curious to hear your thoughts uh, on this topic and um, especially if you have any questions, I would be happy to um, uh, try to help you out. And uh, if there are uh, some resources which uh, you really liked about UI UX design, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, it's really hard. There's so many great resources out there that it's hard to put all of them into one video because uh, there's just too many. So uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. And um, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you in the next video.